city. Everybody is just as a face. And we're gonna be we're gonna be working on some self-defense techniques. I've been um looking at some stuff. There's some things I've been meaning to do with her for a while. She has some things down, but we need to continue to work on it because this world is crazy out here. I need to make sure that she's able to protect herself. I think she's pretty good. We were doing some practice sparring. She tapped me in the, the gonads a little bit. <laughs> and she only tapped me a little bit. And they're they're feeling a little not nice right now. Alright, so we're gonna go over a few techniques. Maybe you guys know them, maybe you don't, but this is what goes on in the Stella household, okay? <laughs> Alright. There we go. But it doesn't, okay. So there we go. go. Alright. So what do you want to do first? You want to do the strike, like if someone's coming at, at you? Um, I don't think. Okay, so first and foremost, <laughs> like we talked about, yeah. if, if fighting is the only option, if that's the only option, and you know that you can't avoid it, first thing you need to do, is get in a fight stance because you need to brace yourself for whatever's coming, right? So, if I'm coming at you, like I said, most people don't know what they're doing, they don't know how to fight, so most people are gonna come and they're gonna come with a whooping punch like that. What did I tell you to do? Move out the way here, then we're coming down like this, and then you can sweep the So let's, let's, let's show what it means. I don't know if they saw it. So if I, once I come in, if I'm coming in hot, I throw a whooping punch, boom, get that kick, boom, that punch. Now, I went down, because I might have went down. I was fighting earlier, and that's, I went down after that after that kick. I went down, I didn't need a punch, but do it again. So, I come with the weekend punch, boom, boom, and I kick, boom, right here. Now, right here, like I said, you can do whatever you want, or you can get a what? <laughs> Thank you, UFC. The goal is to get out of danger as fast as possible. We're not trying to be choreographed, stuck people, on a movie. The goal is to get away from danger. If the person on the ground persists or they're not hurt enough, then maybe you need to continue to do some damage, but hopefully those three shots were enough for them to stop. Okay? Yeah. So a common one, we're talking about the, the hair pull. So that's the hair pull. Turn okay. around. I'm the hair pull. If I grab you this way, there's a couple different ways to do it. But yeah, you grab your hair and so I'm gonna slow that down. I grab your hair, I have one hand on it, okay? You grab your hair to help loosen that grip, and then like you did, boom. Now, you turn too many times, but come back. When I grab your hair and you turn out, remember what we said, you could turn out and just turn out and get away, or you could turn out with the kick. So if you do that, and then you can kick to get away. But I would say most times, try to get away, because once you break that hole, a lot of times people are off balance. Now if I grab it with two hands, Now, if I grab it with two hands, I'm all, excuse me, my stance, like I said, most people aren't going to stand like this. Most people, most people are just going to do what they're going to try to do. So if I grab like this, same process. Don't try to jerk your head. Grab, okay? Now, go. No, bring it back. Because you are off balance. So if you're going to do it, if I'm grabbing hair, right? And you grab, and do that, and then you get out, Boom. Now, now you can do that. Okay? So I grab, you turn, turn fast to get out. Boom. But nope. You gotta make sure you got your. So I want you to actually kick me in my thigh. Because I want, I want to see you do it. So grab, break that hole. Don't pull. Because now, you see, I try to grip in your hand. You gotta make sure that you have your head. There you go. Now, alright, I'm loosening my grip. Boom. Boom. So you kick me in my thigh, my knee. Something like that, but then you get away. You get away as soon as possible. Alright? And somebody grabs you by the hand. I say, hey girl, come here. And you're like, no, you try to walk away. And what did I tell you to do? If they pull you in close, you grab them like that, boom. Most people are not expecting a chick to hit them with a head bite. So to me, that would be super effective because I I would never do this, but if I was to grab a chick like, hey, come here. And she tried to get away, and I grabbed it, boom. Last thing I'm expecting is a head bite, okay? But if you want to do this a couple different ways, if I pull you like this, and I'll pull you close enough. Now, a lot of guys, they might, if you're going to hit them, they, they go to protect this general area. So if you try to hit me, I might go like that. But if I go like that, I'm loosening up my grip, and you have this hand for it. So what I'll tell you you can do with this hand, what might be best, oh. the box the air. Most people, there's a little huge move, if you box the air, it messes with your equilibrium. It, it, it messes with you. 
Most people are not thinking about boxing the air. They're thinking about hitting you in the jaw, smacking you. Don't smack them. Box their ear or hit them in the nose, eyes, or throat. Okay? So, I'm going to grab you again. So, either if I pull you in, you can... Nope. See? Grab me. Oh. Right, remember, so if I pull you in close, boom, headbutt, and once that happens, and then get away. Nothing else. Yeah. Get away. But if I grab you and you're still kind of like here, you can come in with the foot. Oh, we, we got to go over that again. So, but you can come in with the foot, and I'm going to protect that. I'm losing my grip. You can box the air and get away, or you can just try to get away. Now, if there's somebody that's just like, yo, bro, come here. A lot of times, they're not really trying to hurt you, per se. I don't, I don't want to say what they're trying to do or not, but they're not trying to, like, physically hurt you um, if they just grab you by your arm like that, but it can it can get accelerated. So if you think this person's going to do you harm, like I said, once you once you hit that move, once you do that, you do that, you do that head leg, Boom. Oh. If, you, if you don't hit that right and they're not disoriented, then you might want to do some more damage. But the thing, the key is to get the hell away. Get the hell away, run as fast as possible. All right, what was the other one? Let somebody try to kick you, right? So if you walk up, you try to try to kick, and I grab right here, but you can see your balance is off. So if somebody grabs your foot, like me, I'm going to grab your foot. If your arms are long enough, what I tell you to do, grab here, and once again, box the ear. Box the ear, I'm going to grab the foot, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to be downwards because you still have the grip of me. Mm -hmm. Once you box my ear and I'm down like this, boom, you come in. A lot of people are going to crumple because that's the middle of your face. Okay? So, now if somebody knows what they're doing, somebody knows what they're doing, and they try to square up their father's way, you can see what people are going with the show. So, watch people's, watch people. I have great personal vision, so I can see your shoulders. So, you kind of know. Most people are not fainting in the fight. When I box, I used to faint a lot. So I faint and come this way. But if you keep doing it, people start knowing. So if you come and somebody's actually trying to fight, they throw a straight punch. Straight punch is pretty easy to the hell out of the way. A looping punch, it just leaves you wide open to all kinds of stuff. So like you said, that looping punch, if you get out that way of that looping punch, boom. And that's a hard kick. She's barely kicking me. You got a hell of a kick. Boom, and then once you do that, I'm already curled over. Boom, you come through. That overhand right, the overhand right, because I want you to continue to go to the ground. I want you on the ground, okay? And then what was the first key thing I said to do? And that's like what I said, somebody's walking towards you. What are we doing? My first thing. First thing? First kick. Oh, yeah. So. This is Sparta kick. Like, so, <laughs> so if somebody's walking up to you, because you're keeping them, you just did your thing. Remember, you gotta make sure that you're, you're not gonna jump. You keep shifting your foot. You keep shifting your foot. Don't shift your foot. So when you kick, you might want to make sure whatever. So you are you in your correct stance? Try to kick me with your back foot. Okay. All right. Now try to kick me with this foot. You gotta shuffle your feet. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? You're coming with your back foot. Okay. So part, come up with me. Come up with me. Come up with my back foot. Because my lead foot is giving me that. It's giving me that thrust because I'm still moving forward. If I got it, if I'm trying to kick you with this foot, uh, that's all that's going to do. I'm trying to keep you away from it, okay? And as you do that, you're moving back because it bows your face. Now, if somebody charges you, like I said, they charge you and try to come this way, but I just so you go grab them and hold them, okay? Now, yeah, you can grab them and hold them, you can release them. Once you release them, box the air, you can punch them, you can knee them, whatever. If ultimately if somebody grabs you like this under your arms, mm -hmm. so I told her, somebody grabs you like this in the headlock, a gentleman for whatever reason, palms, palms, right to the groin area, palm to the groin area, release the hole, get away, get away, pump. It would probably work for a female too. I don't, I don't know. You jumped when I did it to you. Yeah, so, probably. palm strikes. Um, we did another one. Yeah. Where we, um, well, I went this way. Yeah, okay. So back hold. You grab yep, grab my wrist. You grab my wrist with my hand this way. She's driving her no, drive remember you gotta drive drive your chin into oh. my wrist to help loosen that up. No, you're straining, you shouldn't be straining. Drive your chin. Tuck it, tuck it and drive it. Tuck it, tuck it. There it is. Tuck it and drive it. And then you're using your hip to get out. Once that hand gets free, you bring that around, like I said. Boom, and that palm's right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fully release the hole. Now, once again, you get away, or you continue to do damage, 
But if you continue to do damage, you're probably engaging somebody. They might be bigger than you, stronger than you. Who knows what happened after that? The key is to get away. We want everybody to be safe, so we're going to show that one again. All right, so I bear you my face. Remember, you want to be driving. You're, you're tucking your chin because you don't want me to get the full hold. If I do this, I can choke you out. So you want to get you to tuck your chin there and drive it. That hurts. All right, so I'm already loosening up. That hip drive is already making me making me move. She comes in with an elbow to the rib cage. Okay, I'm already loosening up. That palm strike, boom. That should be enough. All right, that's a that's a few things. There you go. Well, man, you should be protecting me. I like your little side kick. We're gonna do some more um, at a different time. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some sparring practice with the bag so we can practice the striking. And okay. That kick though. That kick was a lot. That's 11 minutes. All right, so we hope somebody found some value in this. Husbands and wives and children, make sure you're getting yourself out there. Learn some basic self-defense techniques. They might save your life. Like I said, most people aren't trying professionals. Most people, if they're trying to hurt you or they're trying to engage in combat, they don't really know what they're doing. They're just coming at you. So fighting is, is mostly cerebral. It's not really physical. Like, it's physical, but it's mostly cerebral. If you know you're in a situation where you cannot avoid a fight, be smarter than the person that you're fighting against, and you should be fine. And understand, you're not trying to be a hero. You're trying to survive the day. You're trying to get away. You don't want to fight. As much as possible, you want to avoid confrontation. You want to make sure that if you can resolve it a different way, you can. But if you have no other choice but to fight, strike first, strike hard, strike fast. No, no mercy. mercy. Peace. Bye.